Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Clickview Learner, and in this video I will talk about uh, how you can group the expressions. So grouping the expressions is very useful. Uh, we're in a chart like this. Uh, you want to show the multiple expression, uh, you know, in a similar chart. So usually, you know, when you have an expression in one chart, you create another chart to show the second expression. But when you use the group expression uh, option in click view, uh, you can utilize the same chart for different expression. So for example, currently you can see the span chart we are, sh we are showing for each year. Now, if I want to see other charts, I'll just click here this small icon round kind of, kind of an icon and it shows me two other options incentive or sales so if I click sales it will show me the sales chart or if I click on in here on the icon it will give me the incentive option and when I select it will give me the incentive chart so this you can see how easy and useful this approach is when you have uh, say five or ten different expressions that you want to utilize in the same chart for your analysis in that case in that case grouping the expression will be really helpful and handy to utilize in your dashboards to provide an effective dashboards to the business user so now let's see how we can create it here uh, in click view so for now I will just remove this and create it again from the scratch. So I remove this, click OK. I'll right click on the blank space, go to new sheet object, click on chart. Let's select bar chart, click next, we'll take year as a dimension. Next, we'll take sum bracket, sum of sales, click here. Let's give a label as sales. Another expression, click add. Sum of, uh, say, spent. Click OK. Give the label as spent. Add. Sum of uh, incentives. Click OK. Incentives. All right, so if I, for now, if I just click finish, it will give me a chart like this, you know? So you can see in 2011, you can have sales, this is a span, and this is incentive. Somehow useful, but if that is not the requirement, you just want to show the one bar at a time, you need to use the grouping option in expression to show it uh, one chart at a time but in a similar chart you can utilize the other expressions so how you can do it let's right click on the chart go to properties within the expression tab uh, you have this option group so when I am on the first op expression this will not be highlighted but if I am on the second expression this will be enabled when I click group now my first and second time expressions are group if i click here and click on group now my all the three expressions are grouped okay so let's click okay and now you can see the chart has changed so for now we are only seeing the sales chart but if i want to select spent then i can see spent chart if I select incentive, I can see the incentive chart. So this is how you can group your dimension and create a very effective chart for your business user. So this is pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I hope uh, you must have found uh, this video very useful and uh, uh, I will meet you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.